Hey guys, I got a new lamp and I'm gonna unbox it and give you the full review right now. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do another review and I'm so excited because I finally got the perfect lamp for my living room. I have been searching everywhere for months, I tell you, for months. I wanted something that was sleek, that looked kind of mid-century modern but more retro and something really, really unique and, you know, kind of a really cool vibe, like a piece of art. But the catch was... I didn't want to spend over a hundred dollars on it. I wanted to spend as little as possible. Oh, one more thing. I wanted it to be wireless. I wanted to be able to press a remote to turn it on. I didn't want to have to get up off the couch to go turn it on. So I found it finally and I'm super excited. Today we're going to put it together, turn it on. I'm going to give you a full review. So let's go ahead and do it. <laughs> I may be falling, but I am alive. It may be over, but I touch the sky. There ain't no reason to cry alone. Okay, so let's put this together. <laughs> this is a boy scratching the surface of lamps and lanterns and wires while installing and wear gloves when installing. Please do not collide with the lamp tube to avoid injury, to avoid damage and injury. Okay. And it tells you how to repair their light bulbs. But it doesn't tell you how to put together, so I guess we're just gonna. Oh, there, here it is. So that's the instructions on how to put it together. It just has step one, two, three, four. You know the order of operations. <laughs> Pretty simple, but let's do it. Okay, you guys. I got the gloves, like the instruction says. I mean, if you don't have gloves, just go put on a pair of socks or something. It'll be fine. So number one they have here is connecting these two things, this and this. So whichever one is the top, I'm guessing this is the top. No, this is the bottom. So I guess the top is here, but I need to have this all the way through first, right? I don't know. Okay, I know. Maybe this goes into the bottom. <laughs> Look at me already so confused. Okay, so step one, I got this and I have to put all of these poles on. So we're gonna put push this through here. We can get it through. Oh my gosh. I thought this was gonna be like the easiest thing ever. I think, oh no, it's not going through you guys. I'm just trying to push this up through. Go. <laughs> I don't wanna break it. Here, let's try doing it like this. Okay, nope. The funny thing is, is this was packaged with all of them together, like already threaded, but as I was taking the packaging off, because they had each one of these wrapped individually, I had to like take them off of this cord and I was like, not a big deal, I'll just thread it again later. Maybe it is a big deal. There's some white stuff on this too. Interesting. Okay. Well, let's try the other pole. Maybe that was the wrong pole. Maybe that is what the problem was. Okay. The picture shows the pole with the threads at the top and no threads at the bottom going on next. So that's what this would be. Threads are at the top, none at the bottom. But for some reason, it's having trouble just pushing past that last little bit am i gonna have to figure out some like special mechanism to get this through you guys it's literally right here but it's not coming through 
Alright, I gotta go find something to figure this out. <laughs> when you are on your own, I tried to catch you, but you were on your way. It's not so easy to change this game. Oh my gosh, I can't even begin to tell you how many things I tried to get this through, and I finally did. So I had to end up getting my yarn and my yarn needle. I had twisted it around the end of this, dropped it down the pole, and then pulled it through. So let's do it one more time or two more times, okay? So there's this one. I think this is the right one now. Okay, so let's put it in here. I'm putting this in, hopefully you can see. Hopefully you don't have to do this. I mean, note to self, if you end up getting this lamp, make sure you do not unthread the cord from these poles. Like, I didn't know this was so serious. So I'm pushing, still pushing. Oh, see, you see it's there on the end. And then I push some more cord in there pull it through. I feel it struggling. No! No, did it? Okay, it still made it through though. I was about to freak. It's right here. I can see it. Why isn't it coming? Okay, there we go. Okay, so we got that one through. One more to go. Again, this is extremely annoying. Like I am done. Like I'm ready to go to sleep now. Like, I thought I'd be done building this already. It looks so simple. Okay, so this is the same on both sides. Yep. And it's the last one. So I guess it doesn't matter which way. Hopefully it works. And then we'll be done with this step. Okay. Pushing, pushing. Okay, the needle's through. Still not coming, so I'm gonna have to pull. Made it through, all right. There it is. So we can remove the thread. Now we have our thing. So what we're gonna do now is screw it all together, okay? So just going to screw it together. They have all these warnings about like not damaging these joints and everything. So, I mean, they don't feel like they're sensitive. So I don't think that I'm gonna mess it up. Let's get this one on here. So are you guys looking for a lamp for your bedroom, for your living room, dorm room? Let me know in the comments. I am looking, or I got this for my living room because it's like a cave in there. And uh, it's more like a den, I guess. And it gets really, really, really dark. Right now I already have a table lamp. That is super awesome, vintage. But it's like having candles lit. Like it's just too big of a room to only have one lamp. <laughs> And the ceiling light is like a spotlight for artwork. It's not really a full light, plus vaulted ceiling. So there we go. Now this is supposed to be about as tall as me. It should go up to my shoulder. So let's see. Okay, let's test this. It's at my shoulder. We can see that. So it's supposed to be 59 inches. It looks like it's coming in. Right. Okay, so it's time to figure out the next step. So we've done one, two, three, four, five is a skirt to the base. Makes sense. So here's the base. Here's the bottom. And let's just screw it on. Should be simple enough, right? <laughs> I feel so professional using these gloves, you know? 
Look at me. I build stuff all the time. I'm just playing with y'all. If you haven't seen my other videos, check them out. Okay. So that's good. And into the base, if you guys hear the barking, that's Oliver. Um, Oliver! Come here! <laughs> okay, so step six is to plug it into the, the plug adapter. That's easy enough, right? So there are three prongs and three prongs. I guess it doesn't, oh yeah, I can see how it goes. There is a specific way for it to go. Make sure you line them up and they should go together. I guess I did not line it up properly. Uh, that perhaps, there we go. Okay, so you got that pushed together. And then next thing is step number seven, which just says, put on the glass lampshade. I think you have to do this first though. All right, so I have the light source lamp and it's supposed to connect here to the top. So let's go ahead and do that. Looking at all of the notches to make sure I line it up just right. And it should slip right in there. All right, let's try one more time. And the good push, I got it in there, great. So now let's, oh. <laughs> We have to push the wire back down in here now and screw it on. I probably need to pull it from the bottom. So let me try to do that. Okay, so that's the trick. You have to pull the cord from the bottom and then screw it onto the top here. Just like this. Righty tidy, lefty loosey. So turn it towards you. It's getting tighter. All right, looks good. <laughs> okay, so the next step is to get the glass lampshade, finally. So here's the beautiful lampshade. Let's set it on the top. Oh, it doesn't stay. Okay, I think we need this first. This is called the metal cover. So let's see how we get these together. Okay, so I'm thinking maybe I stick this on here first. Screw that in. Okay. Make sure everything is tight from the bottom to the top. Okay. Seems good. And now, hopefully, this sits on there. Okay, so I think that this little hat thing has to come off and then I have to put it on top of here. It came in the package screwed together though, so I didn't realize that. Okay, look at there. I'm taking the screw off the top and then this should separate. There's a little, oh, a rubber washer that just fell. So now let me stick the lampshade on here. Okay, that worked. And then I'll show you guys what I have here. There is this rubber washer. We have the lid and then the topper. So I'm gonna take this washer, lid and topper and stick it back on the top. This time on top of the glass. There's like a little groove up here. 
but it looks like it's gonna sit right into, yep, perfect fit. Then I'm gonna put the little washer and then I'm going to screw the lid on. And that's that, I mean, I think we're about done now. If I can just screw this on here. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Making sure it's tight, but not too tight. I don't want to break the glass. Is it on there? I think it's on there. All right, what do you guys think? Do you think it looks good? All right, so let's see if the remote has batteries. I'm not sure if it comes with batteries. Nope, but it does say that it needs two AAA. So let me go find some of those. Oh my gosh you guys so i literally just searched like every single remote in my house to find these batteries so let's hope they work it's an old remote that i have not used in forever so here's this and let's go ahead and set up the lamp <laughs> Here's the moment of truth. I've got the remote and we're gonna turn it on. Ah, there it is. And look, we can change how bright it is. Look at it getting brighter and brighter, wow. You can just hold it and I'll change. You don't even have to press it. See, I'm just holding, let's get that in focus. I'm just holding it and it gets brighter. And then it gets dimmer. Perfect. So let's bring it back up to a normal bright. And then if you can see on the remote, there is a 30 minute, 60 minute, and there are different color bulbs. So let's try those. So one, oh, one is off, I guess, <laughs> or what it was already on. Two, I think that maybe, let's see. What's the difference between one and two? I don't know. And three. Maybe those are programs. I think the colors might actually be the other buttons. So let's turn it back on. So the colors are controlled with these plus and minus signs, I believe. Yeah, that's warmer if you do if you do the minus, it gets warmer, and if you do the plus, it gets cooler. So I'm gonna press the plus and watch the light. See how it got cooler? And then it gets warmer. Pretty awesome, you guys. Okay, so I turned off the light so we can really see this in action. I'm gonna turn it on. It's on the dimmest setting right now, and so I'm gonna send it to the brightest. There you go. And then I'm gonna change the color by pressing the plus sign. You see it cooled down, and then we can warm it back up. And then we can change the level of the brightness to go back down, or we can bring it back up. So cool, so helpful. Absolutely love this lamp. So you guys, this is totally a lamp that I would totally get again. It's everything that I wanted. I love the sleek feel of it. I love the mirrored glass. It goes perfectly. As you can see, I already have mirrored decor that's actually from the 70s, so real vintage pieces. I have other mirrored lamps, so this came out really well, and it's kind of smoky, which is a whole nother vibe as well. I absolutely love how you can use a remote, so you can just be sitting on the couch, grab your remote, and control your light, make it dim, make it brighter, totally set the mood while you're in bed, etc. So, I mean, this really, is exactly what I wanted and it was the perfect price point. When I got this it was only $65 off of Amazon and I got it and I think the next day or the day after so perfect. Let me know if you guys decide to get one. If you have any questions definitely let me know in the comment section below. I will do my best to answer them for you and until next time, bye! I'm sipping away.